Leren resides on the River Foy and was home to Henley of the West, also known as the Leren Regatta. Tivoli Pleasure Garden, created by Frank Parkin and opened in 1922, was a monument to the people of Leren. Frank had gained great wealth from the china clay industry and was inspired by Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen whilst on holiday. Events at Tivoli included running races, torchlight processions, ornamental fountains, cascading water features and a large octagonal pool. The last regatta was held in 1968. Gradually over the years, Tivoli has been reclaimed by nature and lost. Hey, hey, we're down where they wrote Wind of the Willows today, down in Laren. Uh, we're looking for Tivoli Pleasure Park, which was named after a place in Copenhagen, apparently. It's about 100 years old and was abandoned pretty much in the 60s. So join us on this adventure. If you go down to the woods today, we're going looking for something something magical that's been lost. I think we're getting closer, there's people ahead of us. Maybe they're also looking for this place. Well, she said we see these trees from where we were, and she said they literally up here. Mom, I reckon it's up. I reckon it's up as well, because it's flat ground, isn't it? That's where you would build. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're all lost. <laughs> I think we're all looking for the same It's like Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said treasure. <laughs> Our internet's not even working either, so we've got no chance of doing it. This is a crazy place. It's a huge tree just been snapped. Look. Wow. Just stumbled across something here. Possibly the remnants of a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is really. Just a big hole. So we're carrying on. A big hole in the ground. Oh! Right, what's this? Okay, so there's definitely something here. Yeah. We're following the wall around. I may have messed up here. I'm going to have to jump. Oh. I'm going to see where this goes. There is some kind of big lake. I've loaded up the Ordnance Survey maps and it's saying literally just go straight ahead. So we're going to head on this way. And we'll be back in a few minutes. We've walked miles today, it's been crazy. There's an old boiler here. Some pipe work beside it. Maybe we're on the right trail. Finally, it is found. There's a lot of people down here because it's been featured in the newspaper recently. So we'll have a little poke around. Some of the little secrets hidden around here. It's weird finish on this building. Like lumps of concrete have been stuck on it. So here's the fountain. I think it's the fountain of youth. This is a cool little find here. I'm quite sure what this is. But it's decorated with these uh, big granite or quartz stones by the looks of it. Just found this huge stone. Uh, I don't think it, it's got nothing written on it. There's another one of these stones up here. Oh no, it's not. It's a proper archway. Look, or a, some kind of, I don't know, what's this, like a pond? Nah, too small for a pool, isn't it? Those brick arches. This is where it leads up to. Little mushrooms growing out. If it does carry on, that's something up, up in front here. Yeah, it leads to some kind of pipe or pump to a big tank. Whoa. Hello. I'm gonna go in and have a look, guys. Good grief. What a strange place. It's like a tank. A storage tank of some kind. That was pretty cool. Next time on Street Zips. So how did you find this place then? Fabio's made it. Now we can get to the viewing point. We do have to come back. 
Whoa. Whoa. Look at this. That's a controller. Yeah. 